What an honor it is to get a chance to talk to the newest Tennessee Titan, first round pick taken at number 29 last night. He's a Georgia Bulldog, offensive tackle, Isaiah Wilson. Congratulations on last night and welcome to the family of Two-Tone Blue. And you've got your Titan Blue on. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. Definitely am. Yeah. Uh, thank you, and I'm happy to be a part of the family. When you got the call last night, can you describe the feelings, the emotions, the reaction? What can you remember? Um, pretty much when I, I kind of, when they were on the clock, something in my heart kind of just told me that it was time. I felt the tears already coming in. And when I, when I got that phone call, I, I already had the number saved from a, from a few interviews before. So uh, I was just ecstatic, man. I was really speechless. And it was I was overcome with emotions for sure. It's been a really long time coming in to just have your dreams kind of come true like that and be, be blessed like that was, was a great thing for me. Through the whole interview process, you felt a connection with the Titans. Safe to say you weren't surprised that Tennessee selected you? Um. Yeah, <laughs> safe to say that. But uh, it, it's been a blessing all the way through. Um, I felt I was a first rounder um, all the way. And as we just got lower and lower, I mean, I, I felt I felt I had to go. And <laughs> the, there wasn't any explicit talk about me being taken by Tennessee, but I, I just felt like I got along well with the coaches. Uh, I got along well with, with the GM, and I uh, just I feel great to be a part of the family. Okay, so I saw your uh, likeness on Madden, I think, already. The, uh, one of the, <laughs> is that right? Is that what yeah. I saw? Okay, and I saw you wearing 79. Are you going to you plan to wear 79 with the Titans? Is that the goal? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. So what did you think? When you see something like that, even though it hasn't been 24 hours, does that make this whole experience a little more real? Definitely. Um, I kind of, last night we were recording the draft um, so we could just have it on DVR, but somebody accidentally cut off the recording oh. when I got called. And I still, like, after the draft went off, I kind of, like forgot about it for a second. I was like, wait a minute, did I just get drafted? I need to watch it again. <laughs> I was, uh, I was kind of, it, it was just, I was in shock. Uh -huh. And waking up the next day and seeing those things still going on kind of makes it a more, more real experience for sure. All right, but so at the you, moment, you're, you're kind of dreaming. I remember your recruitment, big time five star for all the guys that Coach Smart has gotten at Georgia. You're one of the biggest recruits he got. You're playing in New York. You had offers from every team in the country, and you choose to come to Athens, Georgia, and play in the SEC. Why choose to come so far from home and come choose to play in the Southeastern Conference? Um, I, I just feel like the SEC is a great place to play football. Um, you you have a lot of the best competition out there. Um, no offense to any other schools. There's a ton of talent from every other school, but – the SEC has a, a lot of talent every week, and you have NFL-level coaches that prepare you for the next level and have been in the league and been through those systems and understand what's required of you at the next level. Um, and their, their success rate just with their players and helping them succeed and get to the next level, um, not only as football players but as men, is, is definitely what I, what I looked at in my decision to go down there and, and play for Georgia. Where did you improve the most from high school through college as an offensive tackle? Um, I would definitely say technique. I had to relearn a lot of technique from high school to, to college, simply because in high school we weren't taught certain kick sets or how to carry your hands a certain way or any anything of that nature. It was It was very different to what I got at, at big time SEC school, at a big time SEC school. Um, I came from a private school in Brooklyn, New York, a really small school, and we had great coaches for that environment, but they didn't necessarily coach 
the technique I was learning in college. So I would say picking up that technique was was probably the biggest transition for me. I thought you were going to say the heat. Uh, man, it, it's hot out there for sure. It takes some, it takes some getting used to. But uh, the heat's not not the worst part about it. I mean, it takes some getting used to for sure when you're from New York and it's 30 degrees. But the the heat at, after a while gets very, it, it feels very nice. Um, every day is kind of like spring out there. So it's not going to be a problem coming to Nashville after being Athens, no doubt. But where do you think you have to improve the most quickly coming from college now to the NFL to be a starter for the Titans? Um, I just want to do everything I can to do right by the team, um, off the field and on the field, and improving on technique once again, just hand usage, pad level, just becoming more consistent, more polished in my technique. Um, there's a lot of veteran guys on the O-line that I to learn a ton from, and I plan on taking everything from them that I can to better my game and elevate my game to the next level. So Another, another Georgia Bulldog in Ben Jones, too, right? Yes, sir. Have you already been in touch with him? <laughs> yeah, he, he uh, reached out and just uh, gave me his number, made sure I had him locked in, extended his hand, and pretty much told me, welcome to the family, and well, let's get to work. And if I need anything, he, he's there. So. Okay, so in these unusual situations that we're in right now, for all of us, obviously very unusual for you as well, what do the next few weeks look like as you ready yourself to officially become a Titan? Um, I, I'm really not entirely sure. <laughs> I, I plan on getting out there as fast as I possibly can with everything going on and settling down and figuring out where where I plan on staying in Tennessee and how I'm going to do all of that stuff, um, dealing with whatever media I have. But I, I'm just looking forward to getting there and embracing the culture and being a part of the family in Tennessee. So do you have a handle on Nashville yet? Do you know much about it? Uh, I've been there a few times, but not, not, not enough. Not, not enough. I'm definitely going to learn a lot about it. Um, I heard there's some, some good music out there. So I definitely want to come uh, test that, test that out. There's good food, good, good scenery and good weather. So it should be a lot of fun. All right. How'd you get the nickname Panda? Who gave you that? Uh, my a running back I was with in training at Exos gave me the nickname Panda. His name is DJ Dallas. Plays at my, he played at Miami. He's currently in the draft. Um, and I was sitting down Indian style waiting for, like waiting for a drill. We were doing acceleration drills to work on our 40 pre-combine. And I was just sitting down Indian style because I'm a big guy. It stretches out my hips just when gravity pulls on it. <laughs> you don't really have to do anything. <laughs> And he was, he walked over, he was like, you're just a big panda. And it, it stuck. Everyone, everyone kind of went with it. So I, I adopted the moniker and now it's mine. <laughs> let's, let's wrap up with a little draft fun here. You've heard all the analysts, you've read the mock drafts, you've seen what they said about you at the combine and all these things. So I've, I've, ha I've got a thumbnail on you that I had worked up when they drafted you last night. I was able to read. If Isaiah Wilson was describing Isaiah Wilson to the Titans fans, to the 22nd element, what would your thumbnail to describe yourself as a player sound like to these people? How should they know you? A big physical guy that loves to have fun and wants to win. Wants to win extremely bad. <laughs> like, we'll do whatever it takes to win. That's good stuff. You are uh, your special guy. It was fun watching you at Georgia and for, you know, a lot of people around here follow the SEC. And so uh, when the Titans draft an SEC player, oftentimes uh, fans, no matter which school they follow, know who that person is. And they're very excited because they know the level of competition. We're so glad you're part of the Tennessee Titans. And thank you so much for taking time with us this afternoon. Isaiah Wilson, first round NFL draft pick 2020 of the Titans. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Hey, tighten up. Yes, sir. <laughs> tighten up.